Hi, this is Neil from Alan's Music and Billy Hyde, and uh, here's another guitar anatomy session um, to help you buy your first electric guitar or maybe your next in a category that you've never bought before. Um, this now I'm talking about the semi hollow electric guitar, um, which is something like this. This is a Yamaha SA 2200. Um, some of the more famous semi hollow electric guitars. Uh, the Gibson ES335, um, the and also the the new Ish 339, the smaller but the buddy of that one, um, and there's a lot of uh, guitars from Gretsch that are built this way as well, uh, and heaps of other brands, uh, Ibanez do this style of instrument. Now, why would you buy one of these? Um, you might be a blues fan, you might be a jazz fan, you might be an alternative rock fan, and the uh, reason why I would say that is because the reason why it's called semi-hollow is that it is a hollow instrument which with two hollow chambers underneath these F-holes here which let the guitar resonate like an acoustic. So it's a very lively instrument. But when the guitar is fully hollow and you play uh, styles of music like rock and blues which require a louder volume and a lot of gain, you'll end up with lots of feedback and you can't control the, the noise of the guitar. So. The 335 or an SA2200 like this one has a block of wood up the middle of the guitar, right up the centre here, and that settles it down a little bit. So you get a nice hybrid of uh, the electric uh, solid body sound and the resonant uh, kind of jazzy tone as well. Um, so this has got your two humbucker pickups in it, um, as I said in the uh, other the, the Strat versus Gibson video. Um, this is your higher output pickup as well, a bit more aggressive, very versatile. Um, the layout of this guitar, for anyone who's never bought one before, very easy, pretty much the same as anything else. You've got a headstock, you've got tuning pegs, also referred to as machine heads, you've got the nut which holds the strings into place between here and here, you have the neck, this one's a mahogany one, the fretboard, now this one is a, uh, normally a fretboard is made out of uh, rosewood. Uh, this one in particular is uh, ebony, which is a, a very, very uh, lively wood as well. It makes your notes sing. Um, so that's that's a pretty cool feature of this guitar in particular. Uh, the your Gibsons are more likely to have rosewood. Uh, further down you've got the body, and as I said before, you've got the solid block up the middle, your two hollow chambers, two volumes and two tones to cut your treble back if everyone's getting their heads cut off with the sound of your guitar. So very uh, simple instrument and they, this sort of style instrument they kind of got right the first time and they just kept making them. Uh, let me demonstrate just the sound of these. Uh, maybe you're into jazz guitar. Uh, so in our, in our bridge position here, I've got the amp set a little bit dirty but uh, it hasn't stopped John Schofield from playing this way. <laughs> Let's just go all the way down to the bridge. Uh, this is a, a more body tone. You might hear this from a. You might hear this from, a, say, Freddie King or some earlier Eric Clapton uh, before he got hands on, he got his hands on the Stratocaster. Like. Uh, so in your uh, middle position here, very popular for alternative music. Uh, uh, Brit pop and anything from the 90s that has that kind of semi-acoustic, uh, electric but lively kind of strummy kind of sound. So, that kind of thing too. So. That's why you would buy a semi-hollow uh, electric guitar. Also referred to, by the way, here's some more terminology for you, semi-acoustic. Now, a semi-acoustic is one of these guitars. Uh, contrary to a lot of uh, people's belief, it's not an acoustic guitar with a pickup in it. That is an electric acoustic. 
So if, when you're asking for a semi-acoustic, someone will probably bring you one of these. If you ask for, if you want an acoustic guitar with a pickup in it, ask for an electric acoustic. A little tip for you there as well to save you a bit of time when you're doing your research about your next instrument. So uh, come, in, come in and see us at Alan's Music in Billy Hyde and don't forget to ask as many questions as you can.